dumbbell bent over rows. So when we ever, whenever we do, again, more lat work, the more bent over we are, the more lower lat it's gonna be. The more we stand up, the more it's gonna raise up into our trap. So I want you to make sure that your chest is, is parallel with the ground. Your back should be parallel with the ground. Knees should be soft, athletic stance. Again, if I was gonna jump, this is the position I want my legs to be in. We're gonna pick up our dumbbells. We're gonna give the, get a nice, that scap retraction. And you're gonna pull the dumbbells into your waist, actually. I want you to pull the dumbbells into the waist. I want you to think about the butt, the bottom part of the dumbbell, pulling into this bone, your hip bone. So we don't wanna pull into our armpit. See where that kind of directs that weight up in our neck? We wanna get everything out of our neck. So you're gonna drop the shoulder blades down and back, pulling that bottom of the dumbbell into your hip bone. And one thing we wanna pay attention to with lat work, the elbow in the midline, this being your midline, the more the elbow passes the midline, the more lat work you're getting done. So if you're only pulling to here and your elbow stopping at that midline, you're not getting as much lat activation as you could be. And you also want full range of motion. So make sure you're fully extending. You can even bring it down. Notice I'm kind of bringing it open and then closing, open, closing, open, closing. When we talk about body language, you're gonna get more of a pop and use your body. When we're going strict, you're not using any of that momentum. There's benefits to both ways and you're normally gonna get specified whether to use body language or to be strict. If it's not specified, use body language. We wanna be relaxed. Muscles are, um, they're stretchy, they're elastic. They wanna stretch and contract. You don't wanna to be too stiff with this movement. 